Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So another month is gone, so another favourites video is upon us. So if you want to see what I loved last month, just keep watching. So this past month was sort of like a new find of skincare and makeup products for me. So one of being, I, I did a trip to Sephora in Melbourne and I sort of went a little bit nuts and sort of went spoiled myself with some high-end products. One of them being this Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is in the shade 1.0, which is Cash Kern. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I am actually obsessed with this concealer. It is so, so creamy and insanely pigmented. It's so, so nice to use. I, I use it on my under eyes especially. And then, like, I have dry skin, so it's really nice to find a concealer that caters towards creaminess to cover my dry patches and stuff. It is an amazing product. It does come in a large array of colours. I actually think I either have these lightest or these second lighter shades, so I feel like they should put another lighter shade in between that. But the consistency is fantastic and I'm so obsessed with it. I actually didn't own any Anastasia Beverly Hills products before, like about three weeks ago, and then I picked up two things from them. One being the concealer and one being this brow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown, and I can't believe I have waited this long to buy this product. I always use drugstore products because I just think, like, it can't be that good. I'm not going to pay, like, $40 for something like that goes on my eyebrows. Why would I do that? This is the reason you pay $40 for something that goes on your eyebrows. This colour is such a beautiful shade on me. I am wearing it right now. Um, it just... It fills in everything so perfectly. It is a perfect ashy tone as well. I find a lot of... My eyebrow pencils are like too warm, but this one is great. It has like a retractable one, so it's super like friendly for traveling, so you don't have to carry a sharpener around. And it has a spoolie on the other end. My favorite blush for the past month is this Mecca Max blush in Gold Glow. It's beautiful, I love it. I've worn this in a quite a few videos over the last couple months. This is just the sample size, and to me this is perfect because I am never gonna use this up, let alone a full size blush. The colour is amazing, I'm not wearing it today unfortunately, I totally forgot about it. But it's like beautiful dark pink with gold reflex in it, so it goes so pretty on like nearly all skin tones. And it's just, I really like the Mega Max line. My go-to lip colours for last, like last month was especially this one by Colourpop. This is the Colourpop Alexis Ren Ultra Matte Lippy in Little Weapon. I believe I wore this in my Demi Lovato inspired makeup and I am so obsessed with it. It is a red, but it's an orange coral red. So it looks so flattering, especially because where I am, it's coming into summer months right now. So it's warmer and it's just so good for summer and springtime. And it's ultra matte, so it stays on heaps long. It's not as drying as I thought it was going to be, which is also just a little nice little bonus. And the other go-to lip colour is from Maybelline. This is the colour Jolt in Stripped Down. Um, these remind me of the Too Faced liquid lips. Not liquid lipsticks? You know, these ones, Too, Too Faced. Um, but they're like a quarter of the price, so I really liked it. I'm not a giant fan of the applicator because it's just a little bit messy for me, but the product inside and it's not matte and it's not ultra, gl ultra glossy, so it's that perfect combination for my go-to day-to-day wear. Now I'm a huge fan of setting sprays and priming sprays and all that and I actually found a really great one that wasn't the NYX one from the drugstore. It's this Rimmel Insta Glow. This is a 2-in-1 priming and setting spray and it smells like artificial cucumbers and I love the smell of that. I know it sounds so weird because it's not like real cucumbers but it smells so good. It is a beautiful fine mist. It smells amazing. It smells so good. And it like really helps lock in your makeup and it doesn't give that ultra matte or an ultra dewy finish which is great for this time of year for me. In Australia here we've just come out of winter so my skin is playing havoc. It is, I have, I am actually wearing that much makeup right now. It's ridiculous. I have like four layers of foundation on it, 20 concealers because my skin is just so bad right now. Um, it's dry as hell. It's so, I'm because I'm not drinking enough water for one. I know my fault. It's dehydrated and I just I don't know what's going on my skin. It's just playing up right now. I've had acne all over this area and this area and just just this area. But to rehydrate my skin, I've been loving this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Concentrate. Yes, it is a night concentrate. But it's really good for me in the day because I do have that dehydrated skin. Um, because my skin is so dehydrated. And 
it's a gel consistency so I apply it day and night and it's so nice very very hydrating it has these like hyaluronic acid or something in it and it's very very affordable too and I like it compared to a lot of my higher end skincare Something I never thought I would actually put into a favourites video is a book. I am not a massive reading person, I'm a damn Netflix and chill sort of person. But I was very very excited to go see a movie, but I realised it was based on a book, so I figured I might go read the book first, but it's taking me so long the movie will be out of the movies before I get to finish the book. If that made any sense, but the book itself is by Vince Flynn, this is the American Assassin novel, and I am very very obsessed with it right now. I started it. I'm a very slow reader. I started about three weeks ago and I'm only that far through. I don't like to read in big bulk because I get so bored, but the storyline is really good. I really like like action sort of movies and novels like that. I was obsessed with The Hunger Games and Divergent and all that sort of series, so they're kind of like that. Plus, I really like that actor. He's so handsome. Um, so yeah, I will eventually finish the book, hopefully before the movie comes out on DVD because I'm that slow but um yeah really really good novel so far there we have it guys this is my September favorites for 2017 I hope you liked it I obviously liked these products for a reason and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time bye